Hey guys and girls, I'm Links on one to Free. E3 conference is just going on in these minutes and everybody is excited about everything that Nintendo will announce, PlayStation will announce and Xbox will announce. In the end of Nintendo, in Nintendo's um, conference, basically we got a new announcement for a new Zelda game. It's something that we have seen before but it's not, it's not a remake in any kind of way. It's a sequel for Breath of the Wild. It just got uploaded for around an hour ago or something like that, and I'm so excited for it, man. I have seen the trailer for it. Actually, they just uploaded the trailer just to uh, just to uh, let us gu uh, guys and girls see a little preview about the whole uh, about the whole game. It looks really really exciting, and I can't wait to see more of this, man. It's whoa! It looks so promising, and I'm just so hyped for this, guys and girls. Basically, in today's video, we're going to uh, analyze the whole um, the, the whole trailer already, even after just one hour of uh, re before after releasing the trailer, we need to uh, analyze it because there actually is so much to uh, to see here. So uh, let's go through the video and just see what uh, what we have uh, to uh, to analyze it. First of all, we got the Nintendo Switch logo. It doesn't matter because we know the console that they're releasing the sequel on, all right? Rating pending. You can also see the game is not rated yet, but uh, I'm definitely thinking it's for teens or adults, maybe. But uh, it's definitely not higher than uh, than uh, than 16 or something like that here in Europe. I don't I don't even know what it's called in America, but it's definitely not uh, higher than than 16 years old. Uh, maybe just 12, like for teens, like all of the other Zelda games are, or under, maybe even seven or three. But let's just wait and see here. Alright, we can see some light is just glowing really beautifully. The same texture design as a Breath of the Wild uh, had, which looks really awesome for a Zelda game. And then you can see here down in the cave with some really huge spiky rocks uh, that points into the middle of something really mysterious looking. Uh, definitely something evil goo is going into this middle and it looks really magical. It looks really magical. And um, it looks really, it looks awesome. It looks definitely awesome. And then we can see it, everything turns around and spins. And then we can see a torch here that lights up some few signs. Basically, it's uh, Princess Zelda that has this torch. And um, yeah, we will be talking about that later. And we got a, a near picture in the middle here. Uh, it looks like something is in the middle. Let's just wait and see. The next picture is a. Uh, Princess Zelda and Link in the in the foreground that explores this cave. It looks like some old kind of ruins. Some uh, old signs are on the walls. Definitely something that looks really mysterious and really awesome looking. So maybe something from an old Zelda game. I don't even know that, but um, just a little theory. Over to the right corner, we can also see a little rat is uh, is sitting there. A little uh, other clip is coming in the trailer. Which is uh, really sad, but let's just wait and see. We can also see that they have packed a lot of things. For some reason, it looks like uh, the game could be about traveling or something like that because it's not usual that you see so many uh, things stuffed up on an animal in the Zelda franchise. Maybe it's about traveling, or maybe this uh, animal is actually having a bigger role in the game than than we think. It actually has it's not just an animal; it has something about um, about it, right? We can also see some few crystals, it looks like some Sheikah crystals or something like that. Like the one we have seen on many things in Breath of the Wild uh, before, but um, yeah, you never know with this uh, very, very early trailer. Then we can see Link and Princess Zelda that looks down in the middle of this really dark cave. And it looks like some kind of a mummy. I don't want to spoil too much yet, but you can clearly see that it's a person or something that has or had a spirit uh, before it uh, ended up down here. It looks really creepy and all this slimy magical evilness that goes out from it or into it um, basically has something to do with it. Ugh, it creeps me out already. Well, right now we can see the, the animal once again uh, sits down and drinks uh, some water from this little pond. We also got Princess Zelda that looks like she washing her face or something like that. Let's just press play. Yeah, she, she washes her... 
washes her face and Link is just standing there and waits uh, for her to be done. Um, we got more of the crystals and we also got some few stones and the light from the torches so that looks really awesome with the effect down in the in the um, in the in the water right so it looks really awesome it looks really promising then we can see the rat here which I just talked about we can see if we uh, just place a little bit more of the trailer it will be sucked up by this evil goo which uh, is really sad actually because it means this goo is actually something that um, it's more evil than I actually thought it's not just some magical stuff it's something that uh, actually can kill other other species or also probably humans and stuff like that well we can see it getting sucked up there then we have Princess Zelda and Link standing with their animal on uh, the middle of this bridge and um, looks really awesome looks really really nice to see a huge cave man it it could be so awesome to run around in this man Wow and um, there's not so much to tell we got a lot of these diamonds or crystals that uh, both is in the wall and also underneath the bridge there's not so much to say about that they are also looking around here you can see Princess Zelda that holding the torch here and Link okay it's a really <laughs> it's a really wrong screenshot I just got here he ju looks really tired it's just like that now he's awake they are definitely exploring this cave for some reason and uh, you can also see this is a kind of a cutscene uh, from the game that uh, definitely spoils something maybe the intro to the game or the the final of the game I don't think it's the final because then nothing is funny about the sequel anymore but you can clearly see that it's something to do with the whole storyline we can see the evil slime once again goes out from this little mummy in the middle and um, looks really creepy and I would be scared about that because uh, that uh, that slimy thingy doesn't look really friendly. I I can uh, I wouldn't even touch that man. Just look at that rat, right? Well, we can see a, a very close look to uh, to what we saw in the middle of uh, the whole um, of the whole pedestal. We can see it's some kind of a mummy-looking thing, and definitely has some chains on him, right? And also something uh, suffocated. Can I can I call it that? Like when a mummy gets wrapped in this uh, um, in this cotton or something like that, it looks like uh, this corpse is actually uh, had the same um, same. Um, what do you even call it, man? It's wrapped in this fucking cotton. It's a it's a mummy, right? And we can also see in the very middle of the screen that we got some kind of a symbol that looks like um, the Gerudo. Uh, uh, symbol that appears in the GameCube version of Ocarina of Time. So, um, it's definitely uh, Ganondorf. Also, with uh, if you take a look on the red hair in in the in the left side of the screen, you can also see it's definitely Ganondorf. Also, because he had this even maybe it's a stone that he sits on, or maybe it's a part of his clothes that has this symbol on it. It's definitely a Gerudo, and therefore it's also Ganondorf. Then we can see he has uh, some kind of a hand that goes down here, uh, or actually we just we can see a hand. It's not his hand, but the hand is just something that wakes him up. We haven't seen where this uh, hand comes from, but it's something that wakes something alive. And uh, with this screenshot that I just got here, you can clearly see that Ganondorf is um, he's awake. Also because something is lighting up on him. Uh, so uh, yeah. This guy doesn't look that friendly either. Same with that evil goo in, in this room. Ugh. All right, we can see Link just got pushed back and everything just explodes with evil gooiness. And um, it's weird. It's weird. If we take a really, really close look here, we can see something saves Link. And it's the same hand that woke up Ganondorf. And therefore, it's probably... Princess Zelda that has his hand. Maybe it's just me, but I haven't seen her hand uh, in the other clips that I just took of this video. So I don't even know if it's um, if it's her hand. But who who should uh, save Link elsewhere? So I I, I definitely think it's uh, Princess Zelda, right? Well, if we just clips more in this video, we can see Princess Zelda doesn't have that hand. But what the hell is going on here? What does? Uh, 
save link else no, well okay we can see the outside from the cave or temple or something like that definitely looks scary maybe it's something in the gerudo desert also because you can see some rocks there's no snow there's no trees around it so it's definitely something in a desert uh, area the the hand there that saves link and then we can see a huge shadow of uh, Ganondorf and the hand up there looks really really awesome also really scary though and we can see everything is falling apart in this cave Ugh. and then we can see his hand there that moves a little bit so that means everything in this room is awake or at least the mummy in the middle Ganondorf whatever you want to call him Ugh, this is scary and he falls down there he falls back on his uh, on his uh, on his back rail and uh, we can see boom he is alive and this shocked me a lot when I saw it first time also because it looks really scary man once again in his earring we can also see the same symbol that appears in the GameCube version of Ocarina of Time and same on his clothes so it's definitely um, it's definitely Ganondorf it's definitely Ganondorf all right his eyes is really tearing me up it looks really scary man and maybe it could be a higher rating than other Zelda games due to this but uh, man you never know it also depends on uh, how the game actually just is in in its whole um, in its whole story and stuff like that well we can see uh, Hyrule Castle from a distance right now uh, basically everything is falling apart this uh, little um, scene reminds me a lot about when you have beaten Ganondorf in his tower in Ocarina of Time basically because his tower or his actual castle is falling down into one kind of a platform where you can fight Ganondorf or just Beast Ganon I think it's called Evil Beast Ganon it's not Ganondorf but it reminds me about something from Ocarina of Time I don't know I don't even know what what's happening on the screen right now also because it's so, so long distance so I can't barely see anything but you can clearly see something is falling apart also because a lot of dust and all this fog is going on in in the distance so you can clearly see something is going on Alright, the camera is shaking, and once again we can see these uh, nice lightning, uh, this nice light thing, I don't even know how to explain it, uh, it just floats around in the whole room, um, it definitely looks uh, promising here, and then it turns out to just some text, the sequel to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is now in development, so there's not much about the trailer, I know it may I made it longer than, uh, than you guys and girls just can see it because it just takes time to analyze it right but it looks really awesome and I can't wait to see much more of this trailer because it's a sequel to Breath of the Wild if you saw from the distance um, look that we saw in the trailer you can clearly see it's the same um, land that you saw in Breath of the Wild that appears in the sequel for sure but it's not set in a different place so it looks really promising it looks like they had just taken the actual world and just copied it into the sequel and definitely had another story it looks really awesome I can't really wait to see much more content of this game because no no fans have ever thought about a sequel about Breath of the Wild for sure some of these youtubers out there have uh, made some th uh, theory videos about a sequel to Breath of the Wild and all, all of this but it's just ideas man but now Nintendo finally official have announced a sequel for Breath of the Wild it's amazing guys and girls and I can't wait to see much more content from this game I will definitely be following 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 up on uh, on future uh, gameplay videos that Nintendo will upload so make sure to stay tuned for much more uh, Breath of the Wild content because this turns out to be really really awesome guys and girls damn man on to the next video make sure to check out the channel subscribe to the channel comment what you think about the sequel for Breath of the Wild and also like this video if you, if you enjoyed it make sure to also tell me what to do next on the channel if you want to be interested in that type of stuff in the comment section down below on to the next video have a nice day guys and girls